What is up everybody? Welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 Airport Quick Look. Today we're checking out San Francisco KSFO, an airport that uh, I'm relatively familiar with and uh, was the last, the second to last airport I ever flew out of pre-craziness. So we're going to start over here with the uh, part, of the air, uh, part of the airport I have, oh as I tilt the camera, sorry about that, part of the airport I have spent the most time in. Let me try and, there we go, even now. The Air National Gate. So gonna kind of look in here so we have the G gates G 101 down here um, biggest gripe I have still single jetways personal thing hate it just because I want dual jetways very personal issue however this looks spot on with what the airport looks like um, now it, from my memory this looks pretty realistic uh, did that again, sorry. That is an issue that I've seen a lot um, with uh, aircraft spawning like that. I don't know how or why. Uh, we got another one over there. That's something that you need to kind of fix. Um, we got the United Aircraft down there. Don't know why we have United Aircraft in here. I'm not complaining. Oh, there's a little glitch going on there. Um, so that's some keep in mind that I imagine that will get fixed. Um, I don't think they would leave that like that. They would really get destroyed by people for kind of doing that. Uh, so let's take a look over here. Um, interesting that they put there. If I remember correctly, there is a sign that says San Francisco International Airport right there. Um, so what's interesting about this terminal is it's, uh, it goes here and here. So this is all... The international terminal. Just, over here you have a lot of the... Uh, over here is Star Alliance and United. And I think French B is the kind of odd one out. Over here you have uh, Emirates, Korean, Qatar Airways, I think. British Airways, um, Air France. Kind of all the other international carriers. So let's take a look over here just a little more. Um, I've never really been over there. I've seen pictures of it. It looks pretty much... From what I understand, it looks probably spot on. You have one of the parking garages there. You have another parking garage there. Um, I don't think they did much. You can kind of see where they, it seems to, I think it kind of ends right about there. They didn't really do much on the outskirts, which I'm fine with. Um, coming over here, we have the previous, what were the 70s? I think, I think those were the 70s and the 80s were in this general area. I think this is now B and C. I'm not sure. They just recently, maybe in November, redid it. And I've only been there once since they redid the gate numbering. So, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, we can kind of... Let, let's see. Um, I don't know in terms of exterior if they've really done... Okay, so that's 81. I don't think they've actually renumbered this part i think these are still the gates uh identifier number wise uh in the aircraft computers and the charts um looks pretty looks pretty good um I, i'm not really seeing anything that stands out in terms of uh any textual issues so far this is going to be uh probably one of the better airports i've seen uh that over here is kind of weird um, I'm pretty sure they brought in triple sevens over here. It's kind of weird that the, uh, let's see, the, the pull-up spot for that gate's in the jetway. Not a big thing, more of a personal issue. Uh, we're hitting some of the regional gates here. So, the fact they don't have jetways, I think, is actually pretty, um, I think that's pretty correct. I don't, I don't know why I said pretty correct. Uh, let's take a look at the center area. So, that is one giant parking garage there. Uh, looks to be pretty close. Uh, just a flat texture. Doesn't that doesn't look to be actually modeled in? Uh, just flat texture, which isn't a big deal. That's not something I'm gonna be uh, really picky about, just because that's not something I think I'd ever actually see outside of this view of uh, going around. Um, here's the last part of the terminal that I've actually been to. The um, previous, I think those are the 60s. Yeah, the 60s. Um, yeah, it looks spot on. Uh, let's see. It's a very, uh, compared to the rest of the airport, this little jut out is, um, pretty 
open in terms of the amount of light that gets in. If you look over here, you see that it's, you, you have windows around it, but it's not full windows. And this little jut out is mostly windows. Um, that's a personal thing. I love that this little area. Uh, if you ever fly through the 60s, um, it's really pretty, especially during uh, sunrise or sunset. Okay, I, I'm trying to correct the... Sorry, I keep hitting that. I need to just disable the tilt keys. Although they might come in handy. Over here we have usually the... I think this is usually where American goes out of these gates. I think these are the... See, the 50s, yes. And then we also have... I think that was the old tower. And I think that's the new tower. Unless... And I think that's a ground control tower over there. Uh, since the international gates are kind of hidden. As well as that's a ground control. Um, so far, so good. I'm not really noticing. Let's see if I can even that out. There we go. Not noticing any sort of textual issues, uh, which we have seen. We did see in Frankfurt. Uh, but I think a lot of the issues will get uh, kind of smoothed out. Um, so far, so good. Now, we are kind of took a look at that. So let me uh, turn the camera around, and here's what we'll do. Uh, we'll go take a look at the hangar. And I think that's called the super ramp. I am not, I think it, it's it's some different name. Let's go ahead and turn that. I'm just gonna leave that at the bottom of the screen. I hope nobody minds that. Um, so over here we have two two right, or uh, sorry, two eight right and two eight left. Or uh, crap, is that zero nine right and zero nine left? Or sorry, two eight and one zero. And one zero uh, right, or one zero left, once you're right there we go and then we have uh, one left going that way and one right going that way probably could have just looked on the ground and would have told me um, over here we have a lot of the, uh, a lot of parking and I think those are United Airlines hangers maybe that those might just be general um, usually if you come here you'll usually see a bunch of United Airlines wide bodies parked here kind of sad um, that they, they didn't add in I'm pretty sure I think it's right here there's a uh, 767 parked uh, I think it's used for fire training, but it has, uh, I think, the San Francisco logo on it. Um, coming over here, this, I think, is the U.S. Coast Guard station. i uh, kind of glad they added that so you could try and do Coast Guard stuff from over here if you wanted. Um, this is the cargo area with their version of the uh, A38 and A340, or sorry, A330 mixed with the A350. Uh, so the cargo area looks good. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that they did go ahead and do stuff over here. It would look kind of weird just to have uh, all this modeled and not that. I think that does look very nice. As well as uh, that looks to be uh, AI generated. Uh, over here we have the maintenance parking lot. And these uh, for sure are United hangers. I've actually uh, been over here and been inside this hangar in this area. This is where they do a lot of their engine repairs which is kind of cool. Uh, looks pretty good. Um, not seeing really any sort of textural issues. And let's see, did they do anything else? So this, yeah, this seems to be really where it stops. Um, I wish they, I really kind of wish they would have done something right here. Just gave this a quick little touch up. Because it's so much, I mean, this is as much part of the airport as much of a part of the airport as that if I could actually speak um, yeah overall it doesn't seem to be really that bad it's it seems to uh, I'm not seeing really any textual issues anything everything seems to be actually pretty smooth here let me take a look now I okay I'm guessing that's just how it's supposed to be since it kind of has some juts out there uh, as I went the wrong way. So this one, out of the ones I've looked at so far, it seems to be probably one of the higher quality ones. It's, it's a very nice, very well put together uh, airport. Um, and it's personally one I'm going to be flying out of a lot. I just, I like San Francisco. So uh, yes, I think there we go. So thank you for joining me for this little quick look at san francisco international airport and until next time y'all have a good one goodbye